Now we're gonna go and touch on the this Patriots at Dolphins game. We're going to, going down to Miami. Uh, Miami is nine and a half point favorites. Forty seven is the line here for the over and under. And this is an interesting game because obviously everyone knows the Patriots are coming off of a huge win, uh, and then the Dolphins have been you know falling a little bit more down to earth in recent weeks than they Tiny started bit. off in the season. So uh, if we're going to kind of balance these two teams here. You know, Patriots are coming in with probably too high of expectations. Dolphins yep. are probably coming in a little <laughs> bit lower. Yep. Uh, it's it's going to be an interesting one. I If I had to go ahead and, and give you a pick here, um, I, I wouldn't say the Dolphins are going to win by, by nine points, nine and a half points. Uh, Jalen Ramsey just ca- came out on Twitter and said that he isn't confirmed to play, even though playing, there was right? a report. He, he said he's not confirmed to play, okay. uh, and he might, but he the report of him for sure playing is gotcha. not true. So gotcha. we'll see what happens with that. Tyreek Hill is playing, even though he's a little banged up. So this is a team that's a little beat up. Isaiah Wynn is on IR for them, for the Dolphins now, obviously former Pat. Uh, and the Pats are definitely beat up too. I saw something, I think there was 26. Last or- week there was 20. 20- 20 names listed on the injury report. Right. Yeah. And and so this game is going to be, you know, a little bit of who's healthier as well as who can execute better. You know, if I had to give you a pick here, I think the Dolphins win this game. Nine and a half. I don't think that's the case. Uh, JC Jackson has been playing very well. I think Tyreek Hill is just a bad matchup for him, though. I think I think Tyreek might just burn him a is lot. Is he playing? Tyreek, yeah. Is he confirmed he, playing? I believe so, yeah. Oh, I know. News. Yeah, I know it was closer to... Uh, you know, it was a chance he wasn't going to play, but I'm pretty sure it's confirmed he's playing. You know, that's always going to be trouble. I think Jalen Waddle might have a big game. I, I think Tyreek, you know, we might do some some type of thing where we have, you know, safety over the top, maybe, you know, JC on him, whatever it yeah, is. It's, it's the thing that annoys me about the way they played Miami earlier in the year in week two. Everyone's like, oh, they, they played great defensively. What a good game plan. No, they didn't. They didn't play great defensively. They played with their tails between their legs, afraid of letting up big plays. Like, sure, is that smart to do? Sure. But let's not act like the Pats took their best 11 guys, matched them up with Miami's best 11 guys, and just beat them playing one-on-one ball. No, you didn't. You didn't. You played blanket coverage. Uh, You tried to limit the damage as much as you could, which, to your credit, you did. But let's not act like it was some great defensive mastermind performance that we've seen Bill have in the past because it just simply wasn't that. Yeah, no, it's well said. Uh, yeah, I don't think the Pats win this game. It's hard. It's very hard, as you can tell with our picks, our Pats picks for the year. It's hard to read this team. One thing it I do no want to say, though, is one thing I do want to say is here's my take on this whole Belichick, you know, contract extension report and into this whole he might be out of the uh, off the team, getting fired, whatever. Before that. I think that the goal was for this season was Belichick went up to Kraft and was like, we can't keep middling in the league. We can't keep being a middle tier team because you end up with, you know, not great pick in the drafts. You end up with false hope. You you're not as enticing in free agency. You know, the capital doesn't mean as much, whatever it is. It's just not a good spot to be in, in the NFL. You want to be up there or you want to be in a full rebuild. Those are the two ways that you're really going to have a chance at, uh, you know, building a solid, roster here so if i had to guess i think this is what happened i think belichick went up to Kraft, told him that Kraft agreed belichick said i know what happens throughout a season though if i lose this first these first three games badly you know they're going to be asking for my head and you're, and you're going to have no nothing else you know you're going to have to fire me just because everyone's going to be calling for it so they made a handshake agreement or an actual agreement whatever it is that he's going to be extended a few more years on a contract locked it in they both agreed to being a little bit worse this year. Exactly what he thought was going to happen happens. People are calling for his head after six weeks, seven weeks, whatever it is. And he's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to leak that I got an extension. So they're not done with me and they're not going to fire me. So like eat that Pats fans. That's what he's saying. And then on top of that, he's like, you know what? I don't even care anymore. You guys are like, I give you guys a dynasty. This is his point of view. I give you guys a dynasty. I give you guys 20 years of dominance, which he did which he did. And, uh, and he's like, you know, you can't even deal with a, a rough six weeks or, or a rough one year in the span. That's going to help us in the future on a great quarterback draft. So you know what he said? I think he goes, screw it. I'm going to leak it myself. I got the contract. So one, I'm staying, screw you guys <laughs> Fuck as, <you. laughs> yeah, as, as in the past, the Pats fans. And then two, I think he's going to be like, 
you know what? I don't even want to do this anymore. I was going to say I was going to rebuild and try to build this organization again to have another dynasty before I'm out. But now you guys don't deserve it. What I'm going to do is we're going to keep middling. I'm going to get seven wins a, a year, maybe eight for a couple, two, three, four more seasons until I break the record for all-time wins. And once I set that record, I'm out. I'm going to take my money, take that all the accolades I've had in my career, and I'm going to leave. I think that is exactly what happened. And I think it's a bad thing for us because – I would love to see a Belichick, you know, I mean, Belichick GM has not been great as of recent history, but we've never, ever seen a Belichick rebuild situation as a GM. What if he's good at it? What if he is going to be able to load up on these picks, get high picks and just nail on some of these picks? Or maybe when he has capital, finally, for one of the first times in his entire career, he goes ahead and he trades that and he gets a guy or gets a couple guys. So. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm disappointed in Pat's fans for calling for his head so soon because I think there was a plan. And, and I feel like what I'm saying here, it's a little bit out there, but I it's think a bit it's conspiracy -ish. Real. It's definitely conspiracy-ish, but I think it's a little realistic because – what have we been doing for the past three years? Yes, of course, we made the playoffs, but nobody, everyone knew our playoff team was not going the distance. Well, I mean, well, well, let me play devil's advocate let's hear. about Max rookie year. Week 13, people were calling the Pats a legitimate Super Bowl contender. Now, obviously, that was proven to be false. Yeah, cu coming was, off that was, win streak, right? Yeah, It was proven to be a bit of an overreaction, but there was a point in time where it was looking like, oh, man, this team might get Odell. They might get a different receiver. And then they could go on a deep run, which honestly is exactly what that team was missing. So the one thing I'll disagree with you on is that that playoff team was a legitimately damn good team. Like, they were actually really good. So everything I'm, I'm saying here is, is you know, kind of conspiracy-like, as we just said. But I think this is – it's a very real possibility. I think Belichick knows this is one of the best QB classes there that he's ever going to see, uh, and at least in his – you know, rest of his career. I think he knows that it's the best that he's going to see. So that's my take with that. Um, and I think because of all the backlash that happened, uh, I think the pass are just going to keep middling. I, I think we're going to, we're going to keep middling. We're, we're not going to be really bad this year. We're probably going to be a little bit worse than we were in past years, maybe six wins. Uh, and, and we're going to end up with a, the 12th pick or 11th pick, whatever it is. We're going to get a fucking safety and we're going <laughs> to suck for the next three years. Belichick's going to break the record off of, you a know, Jeff Fisher like, season. yeah, Jeff Fisher like seasons. Yeah. And then he's going to go ahead, retire and, and do whatever he wants. So that's my opinion on it. But, uh, I mean, obviously I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. I, uh, <laughs> fair enough. Long story short, I, I'm not taking us to win this week either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. All right. 